After we were married, after April 6, 2019, we decided, okay, let's go ahead and start trying. And within a month, I got pregnant with our little Leia. We knew we wanted a baby, but we didn't expect it to happen that fast, but it's okay, it worked out. <laughs> birthing process which was going to be at a birth center uh, no medication low intervention I did not want an epidural just basically as natural as possible I took some time to find a birthing center which I loved the Addis I had a midwife doing my primary care and um, I found a doula that I love, Francis. I did a lot of planning, I did yoga, I had my birthing ball, I was drinking my tea, I was doing my exercises, I was mentally preparing. I mean, it was just, I was very, very, very excited for the birthing process. It was 39 weeks and a couple of days, and I remember I was out here, actually just standing right here to my left. I felt a little gush. I said to Lamar, I think my water broke. I went to the bathroom to check and I just saw maybe like a teaspoon size of fluid and it was mixed with blood. And that kept happening. I started having gushes throughout the day. So I decided to text my midwife and let her know just because I wanted to make sure that nothing abnormal was happening. We did some tests and we verified that my water did break so at that point, my midwife said that we have to change a plan of care and I cannot deliver in the birthing center that I now have to be admitted to the hospital and induced. My water was ruptured for over 24 hours. At that point, it was about 36. I immediately started crying because that it was just, it was just like from step one, the plan was changed. And uh, long story short, I just came to the decision, me and Lamar came to the decision that let's just not risk it because I want to stick to my plan. Uh, let's just let's just go with the things. So we made a decision and later that night I was uh, admitted to the hospital. I also called Tari and she had an interview. She ended up having to cancel her interview and she flew in and she was there that night to be with me um, when I was gonna be getting induced. They started me on Pitocin at 2 a.m. The pain was very manageable, but at this time it was just good. We were just hanging out. <laughs> That's how to give birth? Two minutes later, the contractions really kicked in. Like I felt like that quickly, like I was gonna die. <laughs> um, the contractions were so intense. I mean, it's crazy how fast it happened. Uh, I went from being able to manage it to literally um, like just freaking out. Shortly after that, I was having Lamar and Terry were basically alternating, trying to do hip squeezes and counter pressure on my tailbone so that the pain wouldn't be so bad. I mean, I was like yelling at them, uh, trying to get them to do the right amount of pressure in the right spot. I mean, it was just chaotic after that. 
Lamar was on the side because he was just getting tired because he was squeezing so hard his arms were shake. He decided to text the doula and let her know, okay, I'm at that point, the pain is intense. Basically, you gotta get here. So you telling me the nurses don't do none of that? They feel this. like I'm benching 315, yes, 40 times. Uh, no, not your thumb. <laughs> so much. She got there and just basically calmed the whole room. I like your body trying not to squeeze on the baby. She relaxed me. Stop! <laughs> I don't wanna lie. Sorry. <laughs> so, she rubbed oils on me, she gave me a massage, and she just brought me down back to reality to say, hey, like you can do this, we're gonna get through this. Shortly after, my midwife came to check on me again, and she did a cervical exam to see how dilated I was. And I think I was at like, I don't know, five centimeters or something. But I just feel like I've been laboring for this whole time, and then I've been dealing with this intense labor ever since my water broke for hours, and I was only at five centimeters. So I have five more centimeters to go, I'm only halfway. I could not imagine dealing with the pain for that much longer, so it was really discouraging. I remember feeling like giving up at that point, and um, everyone, Everyone just knew that wasn't my plan. So I'm so really grateful for everyone because they were all really supportive. Um, they basically, you know, they were like, you can do this and epidural is not what you want. So, you know, push through. And I'm not a quitter. They really tried to remind me of that. Just put me in the do it. So uh, I just kept trying different techniques. We were then doing position changes because I think they realized that the baby might not have been in a good position. So, I mean, I was just all over the room. And then we just got to a point where it seemed like I wasn't dilating much and she wasn't really rotating. Uh, Leia wasn't really rotating. So at that point, I think we were about 18 hours into labor and the midwife suggested that I get an uh, epidural uh, to help me relax and see if maybe that will help Leia get into an optimal position because it just, things weren't working in our favor at that time. I agreed because <laughs> I, I felt like I was dying. So at that point, you know, it was, I, I didn't want to give up, but I did agree that at that point I was very tense. Uh, and I know that my midwife, knew the plan, was on board with the plan, so if she's suggesting that, it's truly something that might be in my best interest. So I went ahead with the epidural, and um, after that I was very relaxed. I think I even took a nap. We switched around, I progressed some more, and then we got to the point where it was time for me to start pushing. They had me pushing in like a whole circuit. I was uh, I was pushing, I was like on my back, and then I pushed on my side, then I pushed on all fours, then I pushed on the squat bar, then I was back on the other side, and then I was doing this rotating push uh, for about an hour. It was tough, I mean, I was pushing hard, and she just wasn't coming down. So at some point, my midwife then really hesitantly said that she thinks I need, well she wasn't hesitant, but more so because she was being considerate of my feelings, that I need a C-section, that I should get a C-section, that that might be the best thing. Um, and honestly, although I went in knowing that that was the last thing I wanted to hear, at that point, I didn't fight it. I felt like I was exhausted. I mean, completely exhausted. It was after giving it a very, very, very long and hard try at uh, a natural labor and a batch of delivery. So they got us all geared up. Uh, Lamar had his little outfit on. When they pulled her out, the, the OBGYN was like, whoo, she looks big. <laughs> um, so they took her over to the scale and uh, they got her cleaned up. And I just heard them say 4,000 something grams she came out nine pounds, two ounces. And everybody was shocked because, 
I guess I didn't look like I was carrying a nine pound baby, but there was a nine pound baby in there. So Leia shocked the world upon her entrance. Yeah, we were very happy. Lamar was over there, he was taking pictures, he was looking at her, and I was just over there trying to stay awake. So when they closed me up, they took me back, and uh, Leia was over there in the corner with her dad, just staring into each other's eyes. <laughs> I then got to hold her for the first time in the room, and I think we went straight into breastfeeding, and she'd got a good latch, and that was the start of motherhood.